She's been called a maverick nun. She refers to herself as a different sister. But Sister Pauline Quinn long ago shed any doubts about her calling. She helps people, and one of her principal tools is the bond of unconditional love that can exist between a person and a dog. To see this serene servant of others today, one could hardly imagine how much her life has changed. A troubled young woman who ran away from home. She was so tortured by fear and the lack of self-esteem that she could not even speak. Her life on the streets led to institutions and abuse. Then she adopted a dog. Before I had Joni, I couldn't speak. I was afraid of everybody. I would hide, I'd put my head down to the ground. And, um, and so when Joni came and she sort of uh, helped me learn about the world a little more because I was able to focus on other things. My head went up and I was able to look around. And through that relationship, she ultimately came to understand the healing power that animals and humans can create together. And having redeemed herself, she set about to do the same for others. In 1981, she created the Prison Pet Partnership Program at the Washington State Correctional Center for Women, the first prison dog training program in the country. And with its success, other programs followed around the nation and internationally. Here in Oklahoma, Sister Pauline's work was the inspiration for the Guardian Angels Program at the Mabel Bassett Correctional Facility in McLeod. And self-worth and big dreams are an essential part of Sister Pauline's message wherever she goes. So if you ever have a dream in your life of doing something big and you don't know how you can accomplish that, keep dreaming because you never know. I had no money when I started this program and now these programs are all over the United States and other countries. So even if you have one idea and it's really important to you, don't give up hope. Hope is extremely important in our lives because without it, then we're, our dreams don't always come true. So just hope and have courage and go forward. Sister Pauline is not alone in helping to implement the power of the bond between pets and people. Norman veterinarian Dr. John Otto has been a part of the prison dog movement since 1996 when he became the volunteer veterinarian for the Friends for Folks program at the Lexington Correctional Center. There too, dogs are paired with inmates who take the pets through an intensive training program so they ultimately can be adopted. The animals change, you know, they, they go in and they're very much like the inmates. They're, they're, they're unsettled, um, uh, they're, they're not happy. A lot of times they've been neglected, cast away. And um, they come together in this program, and, and, and each one changes, and for the better. This, this love, this unconditional love that each receives changes each one. And then out of that becomes uh, this pet that is well-trained and is given to someone who's in need, someone um, who needs companionship. Dr. Otto took the same concept to Mabel Bassett starting the Guardian Angels program. Working with the Central Oklahoma Humane Society, Dogs with behavior problems are assigned to inmate trainers. The women learn patience and unconditional love, and the dogs find homes. Through their efforts, Sister Pauline and Dr. Otto have not only given countless dogs another chance at a happy life, they have also enriched the lives of people forgotten and ignored by much of society. For their vision, their compassion, their love for both people and animals, and their profound impact on so many pets and humans, Sister Pauline Quinn and Dr. John Otto are truly 
heroes. <laughs>